Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Live Your Art Life podcast. So, you know you're pretty bomb. You're an awesome creative with a crazy drive to make beautiful things and chase a lifestyle that brings you happiness and fulfillment. I'd like to think that I'm part of your tribe, too. I'd like to say that I operate on 100% each moment of each day, constantly pushing towards my dreams, but I don't really like lying to you, so (laughs) you deserve better than that. So consider this a spot of vulnerability to me. I need a good swift kick in the butt now and then. Some days my motivation is kicking a back with a pina colada on a beach in Tulum while I am trying my best to hustle so that I can get to that same beach in Tulum. But if we all waited until our inspiration and motivation were cheering us on, we'd get nowhere. So these are a few ways that I keep myself motivated when my couch and puppy cuddles are calling my name. So my first way is to pull a nice fresh espresso and pair that with a tall glass of icy water. So I love espresso. I've got, um, it's not a super, super fancy espresso machine, but it is one of those, you know, nice kitchen models and best purchase ever. I've got a big fancy grinder too. Oh, I love it so much. So whenever I'm feeling not quite motivated, but I know I got to get some work done, I usually make myself a double shot of espresso with a teensy little splash of cream and I also pair that with a tall glass of icy water. So while the caffeine aspect is absolutely wonderful, espresso might be my favorite thing to drink so it gets myself into a happier headspace and that always makes my creative juices start flowing like our river in spring. Icy water has this way of dialing your senses up to 11 and it peps me up even better than that shock of espresso. When I used to be in university studying for exams at four o'clock in the morning, (laughs) we've all been there, what my little secret weapon would be is I would down like a full water bottle of like the coldest water I could find. And that shock of cold plus the actual fluids in your system would just wake you up and make you so, so dialed in. Oh, it's such a cool tool. So... Yeah, the first thing I always do, double shot of espresso and a nice tall glass of icy water. The second way that I kind of get myself ready to create, even when I'm not feeling particularly motivated, is to set the room. I'm one of those folks that just feels really off when my space is cluttered or, you know, just not exactly how I like it. I usually get that little voice at the back of my head that nags, this is uncomfortable. (laughs) So I usually take a few minutes to tidy up and set my happy space. So once I got my espresso and my water at the ready, I usually put a couple drops of my favorite essential oil blend in a diffuser, and then I dial in with some awesome music. So I personally am a fan of metal. (laughs) So rock and metal, but most of the time, I really love to create to some nice ambient music. Um, My favorite, favorite soundtrack or playlist right now on Spotify for creating and just anytime you're working is called Brain Food. That Spotify playlist, oh, it just throws me into the right zone. My boyfriend is obsessed with it now too. It's just so good. It's zen enough, but it's Definitely got some weird undertones, which I absolutely love. So yeah, that's my secret weapon. So setting the room is super, super important for me. Um, I don't like to have a lot of distractions. So I don't like to have personally like a new TV show running in the background. I want something that just fully streamlines my process and heightens my sort of creative flow. And for me, Having that set room, the things that I like, it does the trick. The third way that I keep myself motivated is to keep a paper to-do list and check those babies off. So I am the checklist queen. I'm embarrassed to admit how much damn joy checking an item off my to-do list gives my little tender heart. I just love it. It brings a smile to my face, but ultimately, 
it boosts my motivation. Great tool. So I always keep that paper list near me, and then I scratch those babies off as I finish them. And when I have, well, a lot of stuff to do, or if I've got (laughs) Hulk-sized motivational boost that I need, I break down I break down those to-do items into even smaller ones just so that I get to quit check them off quicker. Sure, the list now has 17 items instead of 5, but look, I already crossed off 8. So next time you need a swift kick in the pants like I often do, try your version of these things. Let me know how it goes. You obviously don't have to follow my path exactly. In fact, so for instance, if if you're not a caffeine drinker, if you don't like espresso or so on and so forth, find other little tricks that work for you. Because unfortunately, as artists, we can't always wait for motivation and inspiration and the stars to align for us to create. We won't really get anything done if that's the case. So sometimes you have to be able to channel some inner power and strength and just push through it. So hopefully this is at least a little insightful to you and maybe you've already developed a couple motivational tricks for yourself. So hopefully you enjoyed at least listening to this. Before you run away and enjoy the rest of your day, I just wanted to remind you that I've got this awesome free guide on how to start selling your art on Instagram. So Most artists these days are aware that Instagram is a super cool tool for artwork. It's a visual platform. It's free. What more could you want? But the way things are going, it's getting trickier and trickier to reach your audience. So between the algorithm not showing your posts to your audience or the hashtag system just being confusing and shadow banning and all this stuff. And the fact that Instagram is moving away from counting numbers and moving towards engagement, there's a lot of things going on. So I created this free guide for how to start selling your art on Instagram. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, grab the link in the description of this podcast and get learning. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. I will see you in the next episode. Stay magical.